He's a lot. And he's very vibrant and cool. His name, I hope I don't butcher it, is Kim Schoenberg. Kim, come here. Introduce the artists, but I want to thank everyone because thanks to him, we have Chris Brubeck, Gary Mason, Joseph right there, and they are donating their time. They are donating their talent and driving all the way here to honor their friend and the legacy of Ruth and Sketch. So I'll let him do the talking, so walk away. And I'll do, and, and so I figured, okay, when, when Alessandra started talking about the Ruth and Sketch Day, um, I thought it would be really cool to just have some of those early uh, things that I thought of, just to have them come up and, and just give a little performance for, for you, you, you people who are friends of, of this place. Um, so first of all, I'd like, and I'm gonna let them introduce their own stuff. I'm gonna bring up my good friend, Chris Brubeck, to play. with doing all these other great roles and when we first met I was like this woman gets it she she gets it she knew what an orchestrator was most people on Broadway don't know including Tony voters and all that uh, and so we you know, we'd talk about music and talk about you know the, her songs and the songs that she was you know the, starring in on the on the show and just we really hit it off so when I saw her name on the poster uh, of the New York Pops tour of Japan um, I'm like Gotta have Karen here, so I'd like to, to welcome Karen Mason and also have Joseph Falcon come up and get in. And come here. set eyes upon the vacant dairy farm that featured a barnyard and spoke to their hearts so, so much so that they purchased the property and faithfully visited and restored it, making it a, liv a livable farm where they resided most of their lives. And whereas the couple's love and vision for the property expanded and in 1970 they purchased the neighboring Bostwick property and later renovated the large 1836 barn into their home and their future uh, and future of uh, Skitch's studies, where his musical and com com composed talent flourished and conceived the New York Pops Orchestra, making the property the birthplace of the historical independent musical organization for which he served as a musical director and conductor until his death in 2005. And whereas the Hendersons were a gracious, down-to-earth couple 
whose roots were in New York City at the time they came to town and whose friends included an array of famous musicians, movie stars, United States presidents, and others who but should have an appreciation and respect for the band and the land of which they lived by infusing their personal and cultural interests into their offerings and on the property and to the community and bestowed, and bestowed in 1972 opening a store, an art gallery and worldly known cooking school on the farm in a building simply known as the Silo. And whereas the couple turned this Upland Road property into a living educational and cultural trust that generously have enjoyed and future generations will continue to experience, thank you, you Alexandra, to experience by creating the nonprofit Hunt Hill Farm Trust by purchasing and combining two farms in partnership with the town of New Milford, Leantonog Heritage Land Trust, Connecticut Farm Land Trust, the state of Connecticut. It is a partnership that has allowed tens of thousands of children and adults alike to explore their artistic and musical interests on this bucolic property. And whereas the couple was deeply involved and committed to the town of New Milford, well beyond the silo at Hunt Hill Farm, through their major financial support of the New Milford Hospital, Bruce service on <clears throat> as a founding director of the former New Milford Bank and Trust, as co-chairman of the New Milford Hospital Foundation and as a founding member of the New Milford Commission of the Arts and Skitch's collaboration with the New Milford Commission of the Arts in 1977 to launch the inaugural carol sing which continues to this day. Whereas the current caretakers of this property are dedicated to celebrating continuing the legacy of the Hendersons who plan to start a year of planned cultural and educational programs. It will cultivate in the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the silo next fall. Now, therefore, I, Pete Bass, Mayor of the Town of New Milford, do hereby co proclaim Ruth and Skitch Henderson Day. Thank you. Wow, this feels awesome. Woo. It's official now. Got it. I can tell you how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> that just made the feeling of Ruth and Skitch here right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>